this is how to use uh, the pixels array um, to basically do image processing pixel by pixel with an image in processing. So um, I'll just start out as I usually do with uh, the setup function and draw function. And um, I know I've done this before. You've done this before probably. If you looked at the other videos, I think I have have it in there, but basically how do we just show an image on the screen? So first we set up a variable of type p image, then we, um, I'll make this, I'll define the size of this um, canvas, and then I can, I can load it from an image file into um, this variable img. So I have to put the name of the file here, I'm going to just drag a file pizza.jpg, and that's the name I'll put in here. see down here it added that um, image to the sketch. So now all I should be able to do is just uh, show this image variable at the upper left corner of the screen. This should work. So I'm running it. There it is. So uh, every frame it's drawing this image onto the screen and uh, you know that, that's probably happening many times per second but to us it's just drawing in the same place so it, it looks the same. Um, to add on to this, this is where uh, the image processing capabilities come in. We can use the load pixels function, and you should take a look at the help about this. But it'll tell you right away that anytime you use load pixels, you have to use update pixels. And what happens in between is the interesting part. This is where we can actually uh, manipulate the pixels on the canvas. So this image um, actually isn't being put on the screen until the draw loop completes. That's when, you know, no matter what we do in here, we've seen this before, no matter what we do in here, it doesn't actually update on the screen until it hits the bottom and starts again on the next frame. So uh, what we've done is we said, the next time you update the screen, next time it gets drawn, it will put an image in the upper left corner that happens to be 320 by 240. And um, what we do with load pixels is, is we say, whatever the state uh, of the canvas is at this point, load all of those pixels into an array called uh, pixels. And so, you know, this is basically, in this case, 320 by 240. That tells me if we multiply those two together, that tells me how many pixels there are in this array. It's just a one long array full of uh, pixels. And a pixel basically looks like, um, looks like this, color. So it's a, a variable of type color, and it contains um, you know, red, green, blue, which we've seen before. So that's how we're going to do this. Uh, basically, we can say, um, you know, we've done this with arrays before. We want to do something for each item in the array. And uh, we can use width times height. That's the number of pixels on the canvas. And basically, for each pixel in this array, I want to change it to... Um, this color, which is blue, right? No red, no green, just blue. So if I, if I run it now, I should still get this 320 by 240 image, but every pixel has been changed to blue. Not very useful. Uh, the example I gave in class is what if I wanted to just do this for every other pixel? So if I is an even number, do that. Otherwise, leave that pixel alone. So what we should get is... Um, some vertical stripes of blue, and the other the other pixels were left alone. Um, lots of other things we can do. We can affect only the first half of the image by uh, saying width times height divided by two, and um, that should only create those vertical lines on the first half of the image. There we go. Um, we can start changing this so that there are random colors being uh, re uh, replaced, and um, I think I could probably do that here. Basically say uh, some random number between 0 and 255. See what that looks like. So they're kind of these staticky uh, vertical lines. So every frame it's updating and putting a new random number. So that's why it looks like it's moving. It is moving. So uh, these are some of the things you can do. And in the next video about um, video, instead of just stills, we'll see that it's almost identical. We use the pixels array in the same way. So that's it.